Last summer, we went over the season preview, and I forgot to mention this, but Norak has actually been given a cap for Poland, and he's our star player now, and the player we desperately hope will stay with us. His value might have gone up in the summer window. There's also been one more player that's got a cap since the international break happened, and Nishal Najad has also gained a cap for Poland, so... We've officially announced ourselves as a team that can produce international for Poland since we've now got six players in our time at the club that have now gone on to be full on internationals for Poland. So happy days. Still, we've managed to complete the summer transfer window since we last met and had a few gains as well. So let's go over what's happened, shall we? First things first, we actually did convince the board to allow us to have Budapest as our new affiliate and we can actually negotiate this affiliate as well so let's do it straight away and make it so we can get youngsters to turn up in the club and we'll see what we can do straight away MTK Budapest have a decent setup so I think it would be useful to use them to help us recruit foreign youngsters it would benefit both teams and give us a greater reach there so let's do that straight away they don't believe they're in a position to do that for worthwhile. Okay, I think we could do this personally. No? Okay. Apparently they don't want to do it. Fair play, fair play. Well, I'm, I'm a little startled by that. I just wasted all our time for nothing. But still, transfers have any happened. Not really anyone that stands out, though there was a player that left us for Lazio to become the backup goalkeeper for Lazio. Why did this guy end up going to Lazio as their backup goalkeeper when he was barely any good for us? I don't know, but he's been paid 2.2 grand a week and he's going to do absolutely nothing for them. So, fair play, this guy's robbing a living and he's going to get paid over 100 grand a year just to do nothing. Ooh, he didn't even make it in my first team. That's how little I fought this guy. And the fact that Lazio paid us 2 grand for him, eh, I guess it's something, I suppose. Wittor Sukil has also gone out on loan again, this time to our affiliates in the second tier. And I don't think he's played the game for them yet. If he doesn't get a game for them, I am just going to recall him back because I want him to get first time experience. He's 18. If he doesn't get first time experience, I'm going to be disappointed with them. That being said, he also just joined on the 2nd of August and they have played a few games since we have last talked to each other. So what are they doing? Seriously, what are they doing? They're playing this guy instead of Sakil, who... Why did they sign him if they were never going to use him? I swear we had a contract. I'm actually confused. I think my goalkeeper is better personally, if I look at this, and their goalkeeper also won it. He's also got a backup. If they're not going to use him and they're paying less money, then what the hell did I just send him on loan for? I can absolutely recall him for loan if they don't give him any first in football, so at least I know I could do that. Still, the first league we had was against Wedwick Radon, and we won by a goal this year. We definitely deserve the win, as far as I'm concerned, and the fact we've got the win is good for our point of view. It just means that we need to make sure we do better and better, and they don't cause us any problems. We then took on Lecce at their ground and Jasinski got a hat-trick in 15 minutes after he scored in the 24th minute. But still, it was a 15-minute hat-trick. I don't care. It's really good and it's good to see that we have a player that can actually score goals. Between him and Karelski, I've got two strikers who can on their day be really good and it's promising to say the least that we have a team that can actually now challenge the bigger teams and cause problems for them. Especially when we take on... Let's hit Bosnan and beat them 3-0. Jessinski will have a brace to his name, so he's already got five goals in the opening three matches of the season. He's on good form, and Jacob Selinski gets his first ever goal in the 92nd minute of the game, so good, good stuff for us. And then we throw it away by losing 1-0 to Gornick, and I don't know how. Oh, I, I do know how. We had no shots on target. What were we doing in this game? Honestly, this is probably the most disappointing result we've had so far, and the fact it was... This team of all teams that beat us makes it all the more frustrating to me. We were the better team in terms of momentum. They just had the better chances and took their chances, apparently. So, <sighs> yeah, yeah. What's the point of having the momentum if we're not going to use the momentum on our side and score goals? I thought we'd be winning this game when we won the last two games by six goals to one against two of the best team in the division. And, yeah, unbelievable, really. And then we almost lost this game. They scored in the 91st minute. We scored in the 94th minute. And... Quite frankly, they absolutely deserve to win this game and we robbed them of a f win here. And I don't know how we did it. I do know how we did it. I just don't like the fact that it was that bad of a performance from us and we need to do better. It's just... Ugh. I hate these performances because I know we could do better than this. Really, I know we can do. 
a lot better than that. The fact they had 28% possession and almost beat us is even more frustrating as far as I'm concerned. And yet we go from that and then do this against Lego Warsaw. I feel like, and this may just be me, I feel like against the better teams we just wake up. We even went behind against Lego as well and then just went on to score five against them and... Why we do this suddenly, I don't know, but I guess I shouldn't be too upset that my team can just come on and decide to wake up after a few games. It's frustrating that we couldn't beat Gornet and we were almost beaten by the other team, but yeah, at least we're winning games against the big teams, right? Three of the first four victories have been against three of the biggest teams in the division. At least we know we can take on the better teams and beat them comfortably. Not even It's not even a close contest. We've beaten all three of those teams by three goals or two goals. It is ridiculous. Two, three or four goals. Yeah, it's a lot of goals we've scored against these teams. We've scored 11 goals against three of the best teams. And that's impressive. So, we're second. And I feel like I shouldn't be celebrating this. But we are only one point away from dropping out of the top. Five though, Gornick are actually up there in fifth. So turns out they're not actually doing bad in the first place. And the team that we dropped points against the other team in Pabeskasi Piaskol Biala actually are in the top half too. So we've taken on pretty much every team that we've taken on apart from Rodemek Radon on the top half. And even then, Radon are in 10th. I say every team, let's go down in 13th, but they are one of the better teams in the division. And Lecce Poznan at the bottom. I did not notice this until now. What on earth has happened to them? Oh my days. Okay. I don't think they're going to get relegated. But that would be bizarre if they do a Pagon. But that would be very bizarre if they did a Pagon. Because I... Oh, that's a... Mm, that's a shocker to me. I did not expect to see that. I think... I'm going to look at the things they've had. Okay, so they went three games at winning. They drew 4-4. They've only drawn twice. They've only drawn twice. Where's that crack off they lost against? Who've got Kenabo, who's already got 10 goals a season, which is ridiculous. Where's that lot? Also in the relegation zone with them. And the other team they drawn against is a team that almost beat us. But they've lost against some of the teams that you would never expect them to lose against. Woodbeck, who are actually in seventh place, to be fair to them. Mietz, who were good last year and again the top half team this year. Oh my god. Well, okay. Let's see, Poznan. I'd expect them to recover sooner or later. I really do, because this is a shocker to me. It really is. I just remember to think about this. I need to talk about the European competition since we're not in it this year. I'm expecting the other teams to do well this year. Also, Pieton's done quite well again in this assist. Three assists so far. And just since he's got a 7.9 difference rating, apart from the fact. And normally that'd be really good, but apart from the fact that Kenna Bo's got 10 goals and a 7.98 average rating. What on earth is wrong with him? Seriously, this guy starts at Norwich and is nothing at the beginning of the year. How has he turned out to be this good? This is a mental version of this guy. I really think it is. Norwich, whoever starts at Norwich, you got a beast on your hands. This guy can be an absolute monster. If you don't use him to his full potential, you're missing out. Really, you are missing out on this guy. And the worst part is, he wasn't even that good for a lot of his career either. Look at this. They only signed for 48 grand and he became a monster for them. So Slasko in this and they actually are in the group stage. That's good. And they are one of the worst teams, obviously. But they are in the Champions League. I'm curious to see how they do in the Champions League. I guess I am sourcing this by nations as well. So I just wanted to see who's around. And also so you can see your team and your nation straight away, either way. Yes, the Netherlands are like really low down because I put the Netherlands and not... Holland, because it's easier for me to make it that way. It's a real name fix as well. Don't blame me for that. But yeah, these teams are in the competition. I saw a couple of Chavez are doing well. It always feels like Chavez does really well for, for some bizarre reason when they're not loaded. Their league's not loaded, but okay. I don't see a Polish team in the Europa League. That's not a good sign. I would be in this competition myself if I was in the thing right now. What on earth? Also, Palace and Middlesbrough in the Europa League. Hello. That's weird. I'm a bit surprised by that, but okay. Shadow Wild in this competition, they won, they won the Europa Commons League last year, so that makes more sense to me. But where are the Polish teams? There's only one Polish team left. Lecce Gdansk. Did Lecce Poznan not even qualify? 
What on earth is happening? There's only two post teams in the groups. Oh god, am I really doing it this badly to do something good with the post teams? I hope not, because that's really bad. But I'm a little startled by this. I thought that Lechi Poznan were really good. Have I been lied to all this time? Okay, I just found this list for Lechi Poznan. They lost to Sparta Prague in the second qualifying round of the Champions League. In the third qualifying round, they got knocked out by Galatasaray. And in the fourth qualifying round of the Europa Conference League, they lost to Club Brugge. I, I mean, Club Brugge. Yeah. I look at that and I suddenly don't feel as bad because that's actually quite a difficult draw to get in. But okay, that's shocking either way though. They've been absolutely woeful so far this year. We know that Lecce Gdansk are in the Europa Conference League, but what happened to Wisla Krakow and everyone else? Oh my god, second quarter of the round. And that's a Bosnian team, isn't it? That is a Bosnian team. What's the point of letting you get into Europe if you're going to be useless in it? Honestly. And this team got fourth last year. What did you even do? Who knocked you out? Banik. A Czech team. I know the league's loaded, but even so, for goodness sake, guys, what are we doing? Did I really miss out on Europe for the other teams to be absolutely useless? What is the coefficients right now? What are we doing in the coefficients? I need to figure this out because this is already feeling like a dire season for me. 2.4. We're losing a 7.9 year. This is going up a 5.2 year, isn't it? Oh my god, are we, how many years? We're going to lose at least one place right now. We're going to the 14th as things stand. Because Switzerland also had a decent year already as well compared to us. Oh, they're losing a bad year too. Well, this is going to be painful. Turns out, the building nation side of things, when you're not doing well in the league and in Europe, is a pretty painful one. Especially when the other teams in your country and your division, who are doing well in the league, are not doing well in Europe. I need Lecce Warsaw back in the Champions League or Europa League. I really do. I need some good teams in Europe now, I realise in here now. Which says a bloody lot. Okay. Lecce are doing okay. Lecce Poznan, they just, they just decided to fall off a cliff right now. And I don't know what's wrong with them. Because if you look at the season preview here, they're supposed to be second. How are they doing so badly? We do. We don't even have to play the Media Dream 11 anymore. What? How did this happen? I know stats can improve, but that's that's actually annoying me more than I like to admit. That is actually annoying me. That is very, very annoying to know that I have lost my player in the Mini Dream 11 to a 32 one who isn't even a new signing, is he? He's a new signing. They paid 12.75 million for him. They paid 12.75 million for a new goalkeeper and they're paying 23 grand a week for him. I might be paying some of my players good money, but even so, let's go by contracts just to put this into perspective. Only three of my players are getting paid over ten grand a week. I am I have I am giving some new contracts to players actually. That being said, Misha Nowak, his contract expires in four year times. I'm giving him a new deal. And also, look at the value he's now got to. It is actually mad that it's gone from what was eleven million at max to now seventy million at max. He's all about whole city. I'm giving a new contract. He's already accepted it. I'm just waiting for the confirmation. I'm actually bemused by this. And I'm not sure how I feel about the teams in Europe failing. Slas better be good in Europe. They got a tycoon on everything. If, if they're not good in Europe, then I'll be absolutely annoyed. They do have the tycoon on still, right? Let's look at the finances. Yeah, he's still here. He's not even withdrawn any money yet. I kind of want him to win a lot of things in Europe this year. I want him to do well in the Champions League. I hope he does well in the Champions League. I hope this team does well in the Champions League because they've built such a good team. Like, legit, this team, they're paying a player 50 grand a week. This kid is being paid 50 grand a week. I swear, what is wrong with this? This is what I'm competing against, by the way. 49 grand a week, 50 grand a week. And they're not, they only just won the league last year. They better do well in Europe this year, because I'd be annoyed. And they've been paid, they get that much in sponsorship as well. I'm, hmm. We've still got 70 million in the bank, though, to be fair. And we're the only rich team in the division. I just can't use any of the transfer money. I can use the wages, though. How much would I get the wages, actually? I could get 10 million pounds a week if I wanted to. I'm not going to, because that's mad. But good lord, I have a lot of money I'd spend on wages if I wanted to. And I'm probably going to have to in order to keep players at the club. Yay. Anyway, I'm going to end this here. Hope you guys have enjoyed yourselves. Hope you guys like and share this video. And that you subscribe to the channel. It really does help me a lot. How do you think we're going to do the league this year? Do you think 
that slash are gonna do well in Europe. Do you think Let's Take a Dance gonna do well in Europe? And how badly are we gonna be annoyed at the winter break stage of the season? I wanna hear your thoughts and opinions of that down below. But either way, until next time, goodbye and well, good night.